So which candidate's economic plans are best for you? To help spell out some of the contrast so you can decide, we have Democratic strategist Nancy Skinner joining us from Southfield, Michigan tonight. She's an Obama supporter, even though she ran against him <laughs> back in the 2004 U.S. Senate primary in Illinois. In Washington is Wall Street Journal senior economics writer Stephen Moore. He's a member of the journal's editorial board and the founder and former president of the Club for Growth, which raises money for candidates who favor free market economic policies. Good evening to both of you, and thanks for Hi. being with with us. Good evening. Nancy, let's begin with you, um, mm -hmm. and let's begin, in fact, with gas. You heard Candy talking about McCain's economic solution uh, for looking toward gas, and he says expand the drilling, uh, nuclear power plants, and basically get more energy in the system. If you take a look at the poll numbers, Americans support that. They support when gas is 433 a gallon here in New York, they support offshore drilling. Why not do all those things when we are really in a dire situation now? Right. Well, you know, a great distinction here on this issue between Senator Obama and Senator McCain. Senator Obama is saying, let's do what's right. Not, let's just not do what it's polling well, which is what the gas tax holiday is about in offshore drilling. The reality is, Soledad, that we only have 3% of proven oil reserves here in the United States. The Persian Gulf has 66%. And so Senator Obama has said, we are going to, he's going to take $150 billion and invest in alternative energy like solar, wind, uh, geothermal, yeah, all these other. Yeah, but we both know when you do things like invest, it takes a long time to start reaping some of those benefits. That is not a plan for now. Well, nor is offshore drilling. The New York Times reported last week that the rigs that are used to drill offshore, even if we did lift the moratorium, they're booked solid for five years. We don't start drilling. The oil is its costlier to get to. You know, Senator McCain keeps saying we, we have to reduce our foreign oil. What, w there's only so much oil. There's big questions about whether we're at peak oil right now, whether the Saudi oil fields are nearly drained. They're pumping them with water. We as Americans, from a national security standpoint, have to invest. These technologies exist, renewable technologies. These are good jobs green jobs here and they, they can begin immediately there couldn't be a bigger difference between these two candidates well, Stephen let me ask you a question do you see this quote this is from the uh, Saudi oil minister and he said this today uh, to CNN he's troubled by the high prices but here's his quote we have nothing to do with the prices being where they are today how how is how is that possible that they have <laughs> well, nothing I, I, to do with the prices being where they are today nothing at all I don't think the Saudis are too troubled by high prices. They're making a lot of money. This is why uh, Barack Obama's position on oil is just so preposterous. I mean, we actually have uh, very large reserves. In fact, offshore, by some estimates, we have as much uh, oil offshore as Saudi Arabia has oil. So we have vast storehouses. We have a huge amount of oil in Alaska that Barack Obama just recently voted against. I mean, this is not just an issue of oil security, but it's also an issue of jobs. We could be uh, that's about 20 to 30 million dollars a day that we wouldn't have to be importing. And I think John McCain really has to press the advantage on this because Barack Obama, I mean, they were talking about s solar and wind power. We only get about 2 or 3% of our energy from solar and wind, even well, if we tripled now, that. Well, now, but I mean, isn't, yeah. isn't the theory that if you focus on conservation and if you focus right. to long term, you actually wouldn't find yourself in the same position that we're in? I mean, it was McCain's well, soundbite 35 years ago, right. 20 yeah. years yeah, ago, but, today it's urgent. Right. But let me just say this, that's the very same argument that people like me have been making for 25 years about why we should be drilling in Alaska and offshore. And every time we bring it up and say right. we should do so this, but, but people at, say, well, we, if Stephen, we do it, it's going to be five years. We would have had that oil by now if we had done this five Stephen, years ago. The, but Barack Obama keeps voting against the it. The fact that we don't have it invested, we could harvest enough energy. Look at McCain wants nuclear power. Nuclear power is the most expensive there is, 12 cents a kilowatt hour. You're not going to build one for 10 years. The Nancy, American people will choose. Case, Nancy, uh, if the that's future, the case, or the Nancy, past. If, if nuclear power doesn't work, Work, then why is China building 40 nuclear power plants? Why is, you know, today France gets 80% of its le electricity from and, nuclear and power? Costs Very you know, to right, build uh, them uh, okay. and we have, uh, to decommission uh, We them. have 30 seconds left, and here's my question for you both <laughs> okay. briefly. What do you do now? Now, right. for people who are paying, like me, 433 a gallon for my giant SUV, yeah. what do I do now? Okay, I know what you do. I'm in Detroit right now. Detroit's getting killed. So what they're doing is they're stopping the production of big SUVs. The federal government needs to, as the senator said he would, help them make a transition to a whole new generation of fuel-efficient vehicles. We need to, to invest in, in, in new jobs here, green jobs, and we need to... Stephen, as, I'm going to give you the final yeah. word. But now, and again, now to, was the who's word. Gonna, who's going to do the investing? I mean, we don't want the government to do it. They're the ones who wasted all the money over the last uh, 20 years. I do think they're investing Americans, in oil companies. Americans need to conserve 
And we also, if we would declare that we're going to start drilling, I think that would have an immediate impact right. on the futures price of oil. That's going to be the final word for this moment. We've got to take a short break. You guys are going to stick around for us. We'll be back in a moment to talk about taxes, your taxes. Both candidates are promising tax cuts. We're doing the math, and we'll show you how your tax bill could change. Then a little bit later, no matter who is elected. So back to our panel now, Democratic strategists Nancy Skinner and Stephen Moore from the Wall Street Journal. Uh, let's begin with you, Stephen, this time around. If you look at McCain's plan closely, uh, he's really giving the more money back to the, the richest Americans. And if you think about it, these are not the people who are struggling to pay the lighting bill. And these are not the people who are trying to figure out how much money can they trim from their budget so that they can buy groceries at all. So, so why should they get that break? Well, first of all, th those numbers are wrong because they're including making the current tax codes a permanent part of the law. And I would regard m moving to the higher rates, raising the tax rate, not, not cutting them. But here's the point. There are about 100 million Americans today who are members of what I call the investor class. There are Americans who own stock. And those are the people that John McCain really has to appeal to and say, look, we've got to keep the capital gains tax, the dividend tax low. We can't let Barack Obama raise those. Those are things that are going to depress the value of your investments other than your home. Your stocks are your most important investment. The other point to make is, look, this is a competitiveness issue. Today, all around the world, countries are cutting tax rates. If Barack Obama's uh, plan came into being, we, the United States would be the only country in the world that's raising tax rates when the rest of the world is cutting them. That's going to mean less jobs for all Americans. And Nancy, you know, if you look at the richest right. Americans who are paying the most tax, I mean, rich Americans pay a lot of money in taxes already. Don't they yep. deserve a break for all the reasons that Stephen just pointed out? Well, you know, no less than Alan Greenspan is saying that income, income inequality in this country is causing a major economic crisis. And so, just like when Bill Clinton raised the top 1% when, when he took office, what happened? The bond market realized that they were serious about deficit reduction. The economy, we had the strongest economy in a, a generation. So this is what S Senator Obama, to be very clear, he, his tax cut for, is going to be for working families, $1,000 per family. Uh, and it will cover 95% of Americans. President Bush, what John McCain wants to do to extend these tax cuts, make them permanent for the richest, that's $3 trillion. Then he wants to give corporations $2 more trillion. Corporate tax cuts are not what we need right now. We Nancy, need consumer spending. Nancy, let, let me ask you a working. question about this. I mean, here's the problem with what, what I have with Barack Obama's plan. You talk about, you know, giving tax breaks to businesses and, and, and corporations. Let's face it, those are the people who employ Americans. And you can't have jobs if you don't have employers. When, you talk, when Barack Obama talks about raising the tax rates, what he's saying is that he's going to raise taxes on the two-thirds of Americans who create the jobs, the small businessmen. No. So my question is, no. how are you going to create How are you going to create jobs if you're raising taxes on the very people who create the, the jobs? It's the same old trickle-down stuff that we've heard that did work for Bush. He's talking about raising taxes on only those people that make over two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. Yeah, but they're the ones who, those are the year. small businessmen, though. No, you know, you know, no, those aren't the small businessmen. That's a, a tiny fraction of people. You know what? The other argument is, you got to have a job. You got, you can't, we all right. just can't work at Walmart. And manufacturing. Right. Here's another thing. Now, you know, uh, Senator McCain is all out. Now he's going to Mexico. He was in Canada, saying how great this is. Look at, we know that these failed trade policies have cost us. I'm in Michigan. We lost three hundred thousand manufacturing right. jobs. We got to make stuff here. We can't just right. be all working at Walmart. And, and your, the, the senator's policies, his economic plan, and he admits that this economy, that he doesn't know much about it, and that we've had great progress. That's what he says. Well, if he, this is his idea and, of and great progress, I think that's we need exactly. And that is the final word to our panel. <laughs> exactly that just can't let me get a word in <laughs> elsewise this evening. Nancy Thank Skinner you. and also Stephen Moore joining us this evening. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Thank you. We're getting this news right into CNN now. The